Update on life, still doing homework. We're here in Landlock, Colorado. Teaching kids to scuba dive and the importance of marine science and ocean conservation. Through a scholarship of a lifetime. around of scuba skills and today we're taking a break from the pool and hanging out with Fatima, Emily and Josh. It should be here any minute. You had the mercy of the you got the keys, baby, so that you don't out on the sea, baby. Yeah. So we are at proper grounds. There's the crew. Yeah, looking forward to the rest of the day and it's gonna be great, so gonna have fun and chill and hang out and drink some coffee. First off, thank you guys so much for taking the time to come down and hang out a little bit. I, for one, really just wanted to get to know you guys a little bit better. And I know you from your submission videos and we've got to spend some time together in the pool, but I feel like we always really have a, a task at hand. You know, we're, you're learning skills, you have to take a test, there's a lot of things, you know, going on that put pressure on you and I want to know a little bit more about just, you know, the stuff when we're not in the water and the behind the scenes, you guys, a little bit. So thanks for taking the time to come down and hang out. Today is one of the first times that I finally get a chance to sit down with our three scholars and just chat. Just take a minute, get to know them better. And they're super busy kids, so I'm just happy that everybody was able to carve out the time today and be here. And I'll just kind of go around to each of you, but what is it like in in a day in your life. Hey guys, so right now I have a face mask. How embarrassing. Anywho, we love a skin skincare queen. This week I've been extremely busy. Finals are coming up. I've had two finals this week. I have one next week and then two AP tests. And the following week I have three AP tests and one more AP test, total of six. Hello and welcome back to my guitar tutorial. On a normal day, I wake up at like 5.30 because I have to get ready for this thing called zero hour. So it's currently 6.26 in the morning though. That's the catch. I just wanted to let you guys know how early I have to wake up to go to school. Which is where I play my instrument, the violin. From 7 to 7.45 is my violin class. And then I go to my regu regular school and then I have class until 3.35. Honestly, it's really stressful right now, but it's still like good, like, I'm still like having fun. Like I'm not really letting that stress get to me yet. And then after that, I go to track practice, which is at four. <laughs> and then after that, if it's Wednesday, I'll go to Ocean First and go to a swim class. Wow. Sometimes I'll squeeze in homework. <laughs> Sometimes I'll squeeze in homework. <laughs> That's intense. That's a really packed schedule. So what's the day in the life of Emily like? So unlike Fatima, I struggle waking up every single morning. <laughs> um, I go to school in the morning, and then after school, basketball ended, so I have soccer practice now. And then after soccer, every day I kind of have something different to do. Full AP schedule, including AP Calculus 2, AP Biology, AP Physics, AP Language and Composition, AP US Government and Politics, AP Seminar, and AP Spanish, as well as um, I'm a tutor on my off block, so. So I'm in a couple of different extracurriculars at school, and I play the trumpet, and I also do a lot of study groups because it's really hard to juggle um, all the homework, so. That's so, you got, that's awesome. Really impressive. Sometimes I'll get up really early and me and my friend run before he goes to school. And other days I'll wake up just whenever. Usually I try to wake up around seven just to kind of make sure and not be lazy and to get my stuff done. People, I think, sometimes tend to think that homeschoolers play video games all day. Um, that's not what I do. And then I do schoolwork. I have a lot of online classes. My three biggest classes are Latin, Chemistry, and Pre-Calculus. And I'll do that from around 7 to 3.30 or 4. And I play soccer and I run tracks. I play guitar. I love guitar. Okay. So what did you guys do for spring break? On spring break, um, I took advantage of that time to hang out with friends because I've been like 
extremely busy with school. Super excited this morning. I got up at 5 a.m. to go on a sunrise hike with my friend. Got some good chill time in. Right. Well deserved, well earned. <laughs> might Definitely I say. needed. So after a long way, there, er, <laughs> long way, long day, there are a couple of things I really like to do to wind down and one of which includes driving around. I like to drive around and listen to music and that's a really great way that I find to unwind and kind of relax and calm down even if it's just for a couple of minutes. I listen to music, sing along, and drive around. And how about you, Josh? What'd you do for spring break? Um, I went to New Mexico. We're in New Mexico. Having fun hanging out, going to different art galleries. Pretty cool. Santa Fe. Zach, you've just developed this brilliant piece of art. What do you call this? The bell! Whoa! Hey guys, check this out. This is so cool. So it's like a light with a pulley up there. And then it's perfectly balanced so that, that literally you can just adjust it and then let go and it'll stay. What did you do for spring break? I went out of town. I went to Guanajuato and Guadalajara. I'm getting ready because I'm about to go up to Mexico. And you guys are coming along with me. Hey guys, me and my sister here. <laughs> We're at the airport. I'm gonna die. <laughs> so sorry. You know, we out here in Guadalajara. And there's my sister. We're going down there. I don't know how they're gonna think I'm gonna make it. I just hung out with family, and that's really what I did. I took a lot of naps. It's very hot over there. I want to hear how swimming has been going for you, which also I just want to say that I just think it is so incredibly brave and awesome and amazing that you applied for the program and came into this program not knowing how to swim. I mean, at first I was really scared because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to look like an idiot in front of all these little kids because I walked in and it was just a bunch of little kids and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm the oldest one here, how embarrassing, but then like, my instructor Bonnie really like, helped me through it. So let's try that a few more times and then we'll do the duck dive. Last time I couldn't go to the deep end, so this time I did. You got to the deep end too? Yeah, I mean like without the fins or anything. Uh. We, have, we have the swim test coming up mm -hmm. at our next session and yeah. How are you feeling? I feel pretty confident. I mean, yeah, I'm scared because like, I'm not sure if I could last all, the whole 10 minutes because I don't know, like I've been struggling with treading a yeah. lot. You've come so far with that, that's amazing. It's crazy. Keep rocking it, the swim test is gonna go great. I know it. Got it. I got a good feeling. Have any of you guys had like any nerves about stuff where it's really pushed you to the edge of your comfort zone or anything? I always really liked sharks. I've never seen one up close like in the water with them so we'll see how that is. I've seen them in aquariums obviously. I think it'll be just kind of a mix of just like whoa that's so cool but also like wow that's kind of scary but also just like excited so in regard to swimming i remember i started um getting a little bit anxiety a little when i started walking going into the show tank because yeah. it was like a different regulator and yeah. i don't i don't know why but as i started going and i started like i started thinking well i'm not gonna be able to breathe off of this and i was underwater and then i just like took a second i was like well i'm, I'm fine what are you guys thinking about florida the trip coming up I'm super pumped looking forward to it man this is this is gonna be great. I'm gonna go scuba diving in June. And you haven't been on a plane yet. I haven't. Oh, I haven't. this is so exciting! It is. Emily. I'm really, really excited. Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to just be a beach bum and hang out. I was just thinking it'd be so cool to like go scuba diving um, on the beach and then come up and just hang out and play guitar. That's so last thing, guys, and then we can get on with the rest of our day. What is it out of the program and or Florida that you want to make sure like before the end of the program I want to do this or achieve that or your your list that you have to check off for the program? Do the Macarena in the ocean. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, Macarena. <laughs> I love it. We're going to hold you to that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I really want to see like like a, a fish family. Like like living in an anemone. An anemone. An 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 and then he's like, don't hurt yourself, kid. Okay, okay.
okay, don't hurt yourself. Maybe this week I learned that the school district of St. Ray Valley put out a Twitter news story, a news story online, sent out an email, and that I was in the Times call for diving with the sharks. Now, like I had random kids ask me, how was swimming with sharks? And I was like, well, it was great, but I didn't even know I, you knew. How, how is that for you guys? Like, are people recognizing you? Everybody's like been being like, oh, sorry, you're famous. I can't talk to you. So like, they say that and all my teachers have been really congratulating me and saying that I, I've done a, like something cool. It's been kind of interesting having so many people know about the fact that I'm diving, which is such an incredible experience. So I think most of my friends think this is a pretty cool thing. I know I do. Um, they all make like they all tease me and stuff, but yet again, they're all very proud of me. We get to be like kind of famous for a little while, which is awesome. They're like, oh, I'm sorry, you're famous. I can't talk to you. <laughs> yeah. like, they'll say stuff like that to me. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, don't talk to me. You're not on my PR list, and I'll like walk away. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, hey, hey, how's, how's it going? Hey, good. Good, good to see you. Thanks for coming and um, meeting us this afternoon. I have a, I I'm coming yeah. bearing gifts. I uh, got an Ocean First t-shirt for each one of you. Um, so let's see, five some of those for you. Guestimating there and there. So soft. Yeah. Yeah, so the softest t-shirts ever. Nice. Enjoy oh, and you guys are gonna look so bring funny. them to Florida for sure. Where I'm a day in Florida. Cool. All right. Thanks. See you guys later. I'm gonna go get some uh, coffee and cocktails. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for coming down and hanging out. I really, really enjoyed learning more about you. So. So we just finished the conversation with Megan, and I really enjoyed that. And I also learned a lot more about Josh and Fatima, which is really nice. And I'm super stoked and excited to go do our swim test and final written test in the pool next weekend. Next episode, we have a busy weekend tackling some new scuba skills in preparation for our trip to Florida. And we get to meet with a fascinating marine scientist. See you then.